Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Poke 1. I'm Drake Adams, and here we are. We have uh, pretty much explored all that there is to see so far, at least in this lower part of Nakreen City. And we see that we have N to speak to right at this uh, entranceway. I don't know what this is. This is a uh, teleportation someplace else. If this is... It can't be the gym. Maybe it is. We'll see. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, see what's going on and start this episode off. Right. I want to see things no one can see. The ideals of Poke Pokemon inside Pokeballs. The truth about how a trainer should be. And the future where Pokemon have become perfect. Do you think so too? <laughs> yes, no, movie kid. Yeah, he's saying a lot of weird stuff. Movie kid. Hey, be nice. I think it's time for me and my friends to check whether I can see the future. Oh, wow. So this is a battle. I guess it's a good thing that we uh, healed up and everything. Alright, Luxio. Only fitting that we start off with you. And we get that one shot. That real nice. Whoa. Okay. Seeing some smooth Pokemon here. I think, uh, Loris. Let's go ahead and leer. Toss Bubble Beam, huh? I wasn't expecting that. Gonna leer again, get it nice and weak. Okay, if he's just gonna throw bubbles, then we can go into our Pan Pour. Is he a water type? I thought he was a fighting type. No, he's red. I don't know why he's throwing all that water. Let, let, let's see what happens. Let's toss a water gun. And see if he resists it. Wow, that did nothing. Oh, yeah, we uh, lowered uh, his physical defense a bunch, huh? Alright, let's go ahead and scratch and see if that does more damage. <laughs> we did all these leers, and then my water attack does nothing. Okay, Pampor, you're out of here. Sock. So, Sock? Uh, yeah. He's pretty tough. Uh, we don't want to take. Let's go, Snivy. At least I'd be able to do a physical attack. So, Vine Whip. God, this guy is not messing around. Okay, that's a bit better. Toss another Vine Whip here. And we get the crit hit. Take a seat, Sock. And put a Sock in it. Whoa, he's got a Timber. Oh, man, I want one of these. At least we have a uh, Pado. Okay, uh, let's just go straight to you then. What? I want this Pokemon. Where can we find this Pokemon? That actually hurt. Okay, toss some gust at it. Storing energy. Okay, we need to kill this thing quickly. Wow, that didn't do much. I'm a little afraid right now. Um, okay. Okay, let's go Luxio. Perly no, Perlion's gonna get wrecked. Hmm. Lilypuff's gonna be wrecked. So many of my Pokemon are weak to fighting types. Okay, still storing energy. Do we get one more turn? Oh, we get another turn. Okay. So let's see. Oh, but we're slower, huh? Yeah, we're slower. Damn. Ugh, our bird, our bird died. Kind of wanted that experience for him. Um, we, how are we slower than? This guy should be really slow, right? Or is it only when it evolves? Silly dove. Uh, scratch is not gonna do much. Focus energy is getting. This is. Got some tough Pokemon. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that was just a waste. We're starting to see uh, the, the uh, separation of our Pokemon that can kind of handle things, and then our lower levels that can't. And unfortunately, like they're gonna kind of stay lower level because they'll never really live long enough to get kills. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. We're going to do Water Gun here. He should be pretty weak to special attacks. Another crit hit. Oh, my God. Timber, what do you, what's going on with these crit hits? This guy's running through our whole team. Okay, finally takes him down. 
mercy. Right now, my friends aren't strong enough to save all Pokemon. Maybe it's not the time to change the world. Not yet. I need more power. Power enough to make anyone agree with me. It's creepy. Now I know. I need the power of Zekrom. The legendary Pokemon that created, along with a hero, the Unova region. Now it's my turn to become that hero, and Zekrom and I will be friends. Huh. I didn't know Zekrom did that. Dude. We got our butts whipped. Let's go heal up. Poor Padove. That was his chance to get some really good XP. Fighting type. Fighting type wrecked him. Okay, Luxio got another level though. Let's see, how, how does Snivy do? Snivy's looking pretty good. 60, yeah, 16, 15, 14, and then we got 12 and 11. We're going to have to figure something out there. I don't know probably if you're going to be able to do anything. Uh, okay, no thanks. Oh man, we saw some cool Pokemon that I want to use. Like, N, will, will you trade Pokemon? I'll trade you, N. How about that? Let's go in here and see what, what this place is now. Okay, we leveled up for this. Take a look in the box. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Start with you and just switch you out, I guess. <laughs> That's all that we can do here. Welcome to the Nacreen City Museum. It's all about Pokemon and history. Sound really excited when she said that. Whoa, that's cool. What is that? It's not an Aerodactyl, is it? Skeletal specimens are so mysterious. From the outside, you can't see their functional, efficient design. It's almost as if it is an embodiment of their former essence. So fascinating. The thick club held by Marowak. Just like how Cubone wears its mother's skull, Marowak could also battle with the bone of someone dear to it. Can we get the thick club? 550 million years ago, Carbink was born from deep underground temperatures and pressures. Hmm. I mean, I'd like that thick club. Perhaps uh, there is a Pokemon that came from space along with this meteorite. 450 million years ago, Groudon is formed deep inside the Earth, likely from hardened magma and Earth. Groudon, huh? This is a skeletal specimen from a Pokemon that flew around the world. Okay, which one? Which of this? Like these or the one in the middle? Be more specific, sir. Okay, so they say the same thing on different sides. Is this what we're supposed to do? I don't know. Well, let's just keep going through here. I'm, I'm wondering what is older, the Mamoswine or the Kabuto? Hmm, I think Kabuto would be older. You're right. Now I recall. Thanks a lot. Hey, nice. The gym leader here studies fossils and ancient artifacts. Oh, it's a fossil. Oh, we have a gym leader, huh? We're not ready for that. For sure, we're not ready. Uh, okay, we, we we still have to gain access to the gym. Uh, this is and this is a gym. Okay, let's try one fight here, and then we'll probably have to level up like our lower guys for sure. <laughs> and it's a librarian. This is really cool, gym. <laughs> I haven't seen anything like this before. Hey, you're not interested in the books, are you? I bet you're looking for the gym leader. The way to Lenora is found through the books. Talk to the students in the library and then find the right book to proceed. Do we also fight or do we just uh, talk? This is the bookshelf for picture books. Lily Livered Lily Pups Quest, Volume 3. Do you want to read this book? Uh, sure. This is the story of a cowardly lily pup. <laughs> 
short-tempered Zerua and a lonely Yamask. When Lillipup and Zerua enter the cave, they hear a creepy cry. Sitting close to each other, deep into the cave they go. They find a Yamask loudly crying. It wanted very much to make friends, but everyone was scared of it. Nobody would be its friend. After this, that, and the other, they figure this out, and the three new friends continue into the cave. Okay. What's going on with school kid here? Are you looking for the gym leader? You will need to find the right book. Battle me and I'll tell you what I know about it. Okay, this will be a good test to see how strong this area is. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's one, so he's going to have a higher level. But, goodness gracious here. Uh, can we lower his attack? Could, if we can live in... Okay, bye. Um, we don't have a ghost type, but we can... Uh, I think we have to put out our strongest mon. Yeah, we have to put out our strongest mon here. And hope that we in endure this hit, which I'm not too sure we will. Oh, it failed. Okay, cool. Perfect. Okay, so Pack Rock goes down. I think we're gonna have to get a couple levels here. I remember one name from the book's title. It's Pamper. Okay, so we need to find something with Pamper. So it wasn't that book. Furlan's about to level up, so that'll help. I don't know if we want Furlan to level up or Pado, to be honest. Because this one's so close, we'll just have to deal with that. And uh, this is the bookshelf. Oh, yeah. Okay, no, no. so the whole case is going to say one thing. This is the bookshelf for their picture books. The same thing. Okay. So, Panpour is one of the uh, hints here. Are you looking for the book? Maybe I know something about it, but let's battle first. Okay, more lily pups. Yeah, you're pretty big, and you have a dark attack. Let's just go ahead and switch you out, so you can get some XP. I mean, the, the most XP we're gonna get is from these kind of fights here, so it's probably faster than. We don't have a fighting move. Okay, see if Pamper can um, kill him. Probably faster than doing wild, wild battles, to be honest. And we have a lot of uh, potions, so we can just do it that way. Wow. Uh, hopefully we'll live this. Okay. Baby doll eyes is fine. And kill. Him. Okay, good, 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 good. Some decent XP. Oh, another one. Same, same uh, level as well. So that's a big hit. I think we're, we're gonna have to just get in one more hit. Take down, we live it? No, we don't. So that's not good. The Pamper might not get that XP, huh? Uh, okay. That's unfortunate. Actually, let's go ahead and get a revive. We, we really need these guys to get some XP. So I... If we revive him, he should still get XP for this, uh, for this fight here. Switch you out before you die. Let's go to Lillipup. Lillipup against the Lillipup. Man, that's such a huge hit. I mean, I have to sw swap him out because another takedown could kill us. How come our lily pup doesn't do so so much damage? Like, what's going on here? This guy's a monster. And another 15. Yep. Yeah. All right, Snivy. I mean, you're gonna have to do it. Snivy, where's your Mega Drain, Giga Drain, something like that? Cool helping hand. Yeah, keep on doing that. That'll help us live. Baby doll eyes is unfortunate though. But it doesn't seem to be hurting us too much. Another vine weapon. 
And down goes Lily Pop. Okay, hopefully we get like someone levels up here, hopefully. Ooh, yes. Pearly Wind did level up. Try and learn three swipes. I don't really know if it's going to be that much better than what we have, to be honest. Actually, 80 is not great. So we'll just ignore that. Ooh, nice. Snivy is trying to learn Leaf Tornado. Is Snivy a special attacker? No, oh, I mean, we do have special there. But Vine Whip is... Okay, maybe it's it's been special before. Could be balanced. Uh, either way, we're going to take it because it's a... Sh sh Nice strong hit, level 65 here. Uh, these are attacks as target by circling with sharp leaves. This may also lower accuracy. Okay. So tackle we'll take in case we can't hit. Growth we don't really need. Mind whip. Wrap. Actually, wrap's not that great. We're going to get rid of wrap. That's a wrap on wrap. Okay, nice. So level 12, 16, 13, Okay, Pamper is going to have to get to level 14. It's Woobat. Okay, something about Woobat. So, Pampor and Woobat. Uh, yeah, you know what? This is... Like, we're getting touched up. And I'm not really trying to, 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 to die just yet. At least we can get Pampor up. if there's a close uh, battling area. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Man, we, our Pokemon need some help. This is good though. I like the challenge. <laughs> Finicky Nick. Uh, yes, please. Heal up. Okay. Nope. Let's get out of here. Wonder if we would have been better going with the rock. <laughs> it's the rock. How far away are we from some, some grass? Should be glass actually right by here. Maybe we'll get lucky and, and find a new, a new Pokemon. Like something exciting. Okay, but first Pampor. We'll get him to, to 14. That'll help. Kind of same mons here, but these sh should be a little bit easier. Like even like four levels lower, we're not we're not really running them over. Come on, kill this little pearly orb. Dude, oh, I think we missed an item too, so that's cool. Let's find that. A quick ball? Well, that's not bad. It's, it's not bad at all, actually. And standard mons here. This will get us uh, to level 14 on our Pampo, at least. Okay, nice. Little bit of grinding here. Come on, show us a new Pokemon. That'd be kind of cool. We did see like a lot, a lot more damage that turn though. So getting like the levels do help. Thinking if if the trainers that we're fighting right now, like that last person had, um, let's go Pado here. The last trainer had three level 15, so it's all pretty even. I feel like... Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be a really riveting fight, won't it? Actually, oh, that's actually a nice hit. I feel like the gym leader is going to have Pokemon at, like, level 22. Nice. 
Maybe level 20 and 22 or 24. Nice, okay, 13, that helps. Uh, Perleon, yeah, you're always struggling, so let's keep going. One at a time, one at a time. Not, I'm, not, I'm not feeling too confident on our ability to take this guy down here. Maybe this Pokemon has to go. Um, yeah, of all the Pokemon, I feel like sh Perlion's bringing the least to our team. We could do the Rock. I mean, look, this thing is a level 12. Wow. Just quick attack this for 15. A quick attack. It quick attacked us for 15! Okay, yeah, we may be going to the rock. It might be that time to go to the rock. <laughs> oh. Okay, uh, Prelu, and you are not getting it done. Um, yeah, you don't have a dark move or dark, so you're gonna be weak to fighting. Very. Let's see what level our rock guy's at. At least it provides like a different look, I guess. I mean, dark is okay too, but... I don't know. I just, yeah, I'm just not... I'm not stoked on, on, on Purr's performance. I'm not stoked, but... Let's see, what's his name? Raw Ganella. I mean, we have Blitzel as well, huh? Uh, Woobat. Woobat could, could be interesting. So it's 11, so it's not that much uh, lower level. But this one is like uh, a little bit better IVs, huh? Attack, defense, special defense is horrible. Should we try to catch a better one, maybe? Speed is not great. Special attack, yeah, his, his stats are horrible. Maybe let's, let, like, let's go catch, let's catch some rods. Let's go raw hunting. You guys down to go raw hunting? I'm down. You guys aren't down. You won't. Okay. I'll calm down. Okay. All right. We're gonna. But let's uh, actually leave space open. Because we're actually. Who is, who is the bite? Oh yeah, so Lillipup is gonna thrive in there because of uh, the dark type. Yeah, see, Lillipup has a dark move. Perlion, you're out of here. You've let us down. Which uh, area were we using for you, actually? Let's go here, nine. I wanna free up some space. Luxio could do well in there. No, Luxio's okay. Snivy. Pampor, Padov. Okay, Padov. I guess Luxio can take a seat because it's got a high level. So we're going to catch two and see if either of those are decent enough to keep. And this way, having the space open, we'll know right away once we caught it how it looks. So heading back to that cave. Uh, yeah, I just feel like, uh, I don't know. We're getting touched around a lot, and I mean, dark types are good, but they're also pr frail to a lot of strong archetypes. And uh, yeah, we, we don't want to have a weak dark type. If we're gonna have a dark type. It better be a, a good dark dark type. So we haven't fainted yet throughout all of our 100 plus episodes, and it's not gonna happen today. No, uh, not on our watch. No, sir. We'll put up Pampor. Maybe get some XP on Pampor. Pampor is like he's hanging in there, but he's actually starting to slow up as well as far as uh, being good. Oh, nice. We got one right off the bat, though. Okay. Do we kill him? Please don't kill him. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Kill. There we go. Nice, 
Nice. That's how you do it. Uh, how do you look? Also, what? Weak armor. Modest. Okay, we don't want modest, so you're not good either. <laughs> I think sturdy is a good um, a good ability. So the one that we have at least has the good ability. Oh, nice. We're finding him finding back to back, though. Uh, I feel like it's risky. I don't think that one would have lived. Okay, this is also weak armor. So I don't think we want... I think we, we, we want uh, a sturdy one. Which is actually fine, and that means that we can... That means that we can try to one-shot it. Because uh, if it doesn't uh, die, then that means it's sturdy. And we're also actually getting some decent XP here as well. Just, uh, I'm liking that we're getting a bunch of these guys back to back though. Super effective. We don't know what you have. Well, I mean, it's not uh, weak armor, so. Toss the put. Bow! Just don't give us minus attack. Give us any na nature that's not negative attack. Or negative defense. Those two things. Not negative attack, negative attack. How is everything <laughs> negative attack? This is out of control. Control. Okay, let's catch some more. Hey. Loving all these guys. Okay. At least he's sturdy. But we don't know what he's going to be, fortunately. Okay, we have three. Okay, let's try one more. One more rock, and I think that's gonna have to do it. After that, then I give up. Uh-oh, we bad. Can we run? Probably not. Can we lick you? I think we can lick you, right? Yeah, we can. In all honesty, like, Wubat would probably be a Pokemon that we should be using. <laughs> Actually, we should use Wubat over Pado, huh? Huh. Maybe. Yeah. I think so. Okay, we're gonna look at our Wubat again, too. Because, I mean, it is a flying type. Oh, nice, nice, nice. We got the rock. It's the rock. It's your boy. Super, ooh, super effective. And it's 30. Perfect. That's Harden. I'm liking this guy. I'm, you know, I got a feeling about this one. I think this one might be the one. He has some spunk. He has some tenacity about him. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Awesome. Nope, oh, I think we got a little train passing through. Alright, so let's actually go ahead... Go ahead, check out our uh, hall and uh, see if there's anything that we can use and maybe see about switching out the bird with that weird psychic pig thing. It's such an awkward Pokemon, so uh, ugly, but it could be useful. It's like odd typings, but I think that might actually come in handy better than our just like standard, what is this, like flying normal type. Like flying normal, like we could just run Pidgey for, for, for that, you know? Okay, alright, alright. So we'll heal up, we'll check out uh, some of the other things. It's funny, everything that we got had negative attack. Get out of here. Alright, alright. Where are you guys? Alright, let's check out the Wubat first. Uh, so Wubat, you're what? Flying Psychic. That's kind of cool. You have less defense, more special defense, but that's alright. Just so long as you don't have negative, like, I guess Flying Psychic, you're probably a special attacker. And, how you, yep, nice special attack, nice speed. Okay, you know what? You are in, and Pidove is out. 
Now let's check out what we have going on with the rocks. So we have anything that's... And here's another <laughs> negative attack. How? How are they all negative attacks? Okay. Uh, ooh, this guy's got blue though. So he's got sturdy. Oh, is this the one that I was talking about? Is this, is this the one or is this the one? I don't know. Lax. Ooh, this could be actually pretty good. He has more defense. Like, I mean, I guess we just get super wrecked by special attack, but like we have really good strong out. And 30 HP, zero attack stat. What about you? Ooh, nice attack, decent HP. Oh, this is the one. We found one. That's our boy. Okay, so which one are you? This guy? Heck yeah, I like this guy. Okay. Where? Oh, uh, oh, okay, never mind. Uh, we'll switch you out. Wait, what? What's up with this guy? Oh, so this one was, was blue too? Oh, okay, no, it's just doing weird things. Uh, you are not good, so you're gonna get released. And you are not good, so you're gonna get released. Perfect. And you are also getting released. Everybody's getting released. Cool, cool, cool. So you're good. Wubat's there. And let's go to nine. Let's get our Lexio. Okay. I think this is going to work out. All right. Let's make some changes to our squad here. So we have a rock that we're going to have to still, I mean, we are going to have to bring him up a little bit. So... Maybe before next episode, I'll just at least get these guys up to level 14. Uh, so you guys don't have to sit here and watch all that. And then we can go back uh, with the gym and hope that we're a little bit closer to level. But uh, actually, no, let's get in a couple fights with them. Still got some time. There's no rush. I want to get in a couple fights. Kind of curious curious to see what happens. Not ready to call it the end of the episode yet. We're gonna do it for you guys. We're doing it for y'all. Let's see. Okay. Ah, dope. Do we have a rock type? Ah, we don't. Dark. We have headbutt though. Ooh, 70 base? Ooh, that feels a lot better. That's the type of damage that we should be seeing. Would have been funny then if we just got wrecked by a Pado. Like, like, oh, okay, so you're going to swap this out? Alright, well, this is what you're missing. And then it just gets smashed. Lillipup. Lillipup is always a problem, though. So I, I, I would not be surprised if we get rocked here. Everyone keeps trying to lower our defense. Stop lowering our defense. We are a rock. We're solid. We have sturdy. You can't kill us in one shot. Nice. Nice. Excellent. 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 Yes. Yay. Actually, that one's kind of annoying. Don't lower our attack. So these guys are level 8, 9. That cave is actually better for grinding because they're level 10 and 11. So I might have to get a couple levels there off screen. Oh, almost. Okay, one more. Let's, let's get a level up here. Man, I want to find a new Pokemon. I have a feeling that the the unknowns around here are the stuff in the uh, water. Not actual unknown Pokemon, but the Pokemon that we don't know or have not discovered yet. You know what I mean. Hey, he got a level. Cool. Okay, now Wubat. Gosh, Wubat. It's all the way down there. Let's see what Wubat can do here. Wubat. Whoa, oh, nice. Confusion. Okay. So, Gus Confusion. Alright, already looking better. 
Nice. That, that's a strong hit. That's a strong hit for sure. Okay, here we go. Our squad already feels better. Of course, we're not attacking level 15 Pokemon <laughs> and level 17s, but uh, we are beating up on these level 8s. We are beating up on these level 8s, and this guy might wreck us. Hopefully he just has quick attack, like the other one. Okay, tell him. It's fine. And you go down. Okay, these guys are feeling a little bit more our speed. I'm liking what they're bringing to the table. Anything cool here? Yeah, it's just three. It's probably water Pokemon. Maybe not this one. I feel like these two are water Pokemon. That's why we haven't come across them yet. Okay. Uh, you know what, we're going to go ahead and end the episode there. Trying to make some changes to our squad, trying to get ready to take down that uh, gym. That's a little tough. And uh, when we come back next time, I think these guys are going to be around like level 15 at least. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but like it'll be a start. But uh, I thank you guys for watching. As always, I've been Drake Adams, and you've been great. I'll see you next time.